welcome to this edition of Inside the PCS Classroom. I'm Chastity Downing. During our recent district-wide training session, we were pleased to have as a guest speaker, Bill Madigan. He is a recently retired AVID staff developer from California. We think what he had to say should be of considerable interest to classroom teachers throughout Pinellas County Schools. With that in mind, here is the recent presentation at Oak Grove Middle School. They actually have uh, imaging that shows in the 78-year-old woman that she's growing new brain cells because they gave her a task to trouble over for a few days and they can actually see those cells sticking around. Because what happens in the hippocampal areas, these two little fingers that kind of stick out, that's where the new brain cells come in. They're generated every day, thousands of them. Unless you do something challenging and difficult and stick with it, those cells just kind of get, they just fade away. So you can have actually more brain cells as you grow. I don't know if you've ever heard of Brene Brown, the one about daring greatly and all. She talks about shame as probably the biggest reason why people are messed up and don't accept themselves even, okay? Do you have, I'm going to ask you this as a follow-up question, do you have issues like when you're under stress on a test or something that you just don't remember stuff really well? Yeah, that's super common. And what you really know, you have a hard time because you're afraid to be wrong or something like that. And that's, that amygdala can literally shut off this prefrontal cortex. Just shut it off. That's why a lot of you, when you get really frustrated, you go, ah, ah you're freezing because this is off. This is just turned off, okay? In psychology, they have a book this big, like you, I can't even put my hand around it, that has a list of all the disorders that you can possibly suffer from, right? And it wasn't until about a few years ago that some psychologists said, wait a minute, why do we focus on all the problems and all the deficits? We don't have a definition of health. And they went, mm, all we know is what's wrong. So wh what I'm about to show you is this uh, Dutch psychologist who did research on mature and immature mind states, okay? I want to, I'm going to show you the mature one and see if you find on this list anything that you just heard someone talk about or in your own experience matches that person who is inspiring, okay? The academic curriculum is important, but without a foundation and a connection to the kids, you can't do it as well. And I just point out that whole study on the East Coast. You can teach and it looks good but people aren't learning. I don't know how many people I've met who've been in four years of Spanish and don't speak Spanish. It's because, in a sense, it's, it's not taught right. And um, it needs to be more social. There has to be more uh, social interaction, the connections between students and the teacher. And those have to be built intentionally because too often it's just, okay, go sit down, I'm gonna bird out this stuff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there, and you either get it or not. No, you have to make sure they get it. It's kinda like you're a, a sheepdog. You're kinda running around making sure everybody gets it. And learning a sheepdog skills takes time, effort, and it's very difficult, but you should be intentional about doing it. 